Minecraft 1.20 will be coming soon, so today I'm showing you 20 rare Minecraft seeds for the new update that you can't afford to miss. Starting with the biggest cherry grove spawn ever. This cherry biome is 2,000 blocks in length and you spawn right in the middle of it. There's beautifully blossoming forest in every direction, full of fragrant life and gorgeous places to build. You won't find a bigger cherry grove spawn in 1.20, but if you thought that biome was big, just wait till you see the next seed. One of the rarest biomes you can find in Minecraft is the mushroom fields, and this one is even rarer because it's the biggest mushroom island ever found. My render distance can barely handle this thing. It's literally 3,965,000 blocks of mycelium, mushroom blocks, and mushroom milk. Sometimes small Minecraft biomes can be just as rare. This is the smallest desert biome to ever generate both a temple and a village. It's strange enough to see a desert this small in the first place, so the fact that these two structures have managed to spawn here is incredible. Incredibly lucky. Dig for archaeological treasures, ride a camel and trade with villagers all in the same place. But maybe two structures that spawn isn't enough for you. Would five structures be enough for you? Sometimes I think there's such a thing as too many structures. This swamp village has its very own ship, a pillager outpost, a witch hunt and even a ruined portal. And of course, it's a giant one. The structures don't stop there. Just a short walk away, there's some ocean ruins and another shipwreck. I wonder what would happen if you took five amazing Minecraft structures and combined Combine them with a brand new biome. Here's exactly what that would look like. This mountainous and frozen cherry grove is home to not only a village, but a basement igloo and a ruined portal too. After you've cured the zombie villager and explored a new realm, head through the petals to find an exposed dungeon next to the village too. The structures don't stop there. Dig deep enough and you'll also be able to find yourself an ancient city. It's going to be hard to beat this cherry grove village seed in the new update. We're only five seeds in. There's even more amazing cherry grove still to come, as well as the rarest village spawn you'll ever see. Notice anything strange about this woodland mansion? I'll give you a few seconds to see if you can spot it. It blends in quite well, but there's actually a jungle temple fused into the mansion. It's not a structure combination you'd ever expect to see at spawn, and it comes with some amazing views too. Building on top of a jungle temple is certainly questionable, but no one would ever question if you were to build in the next seed. This seed is a builder's dream. This open-ended cherry valley contains a village, a small pond and plenty of space for your own creations. The life of a villager has never been more peaceful, and you have the opportunity to join them. The surroundings beyond the cherry walls are just amazing. Follow the cherry trees directly to an ice spikes biome, or build in the open plains surrounding the village. If you like ice spikes, the next island will blow your mind. An ice spikes island would be a pretty rare find, but a windswept ice spikes island with a village would be even better. The towering frozen landscape behind the village would be the perfect place for your winter kingdom. There's jaw-dropping cliff faces, inspiring caverns, and even blocks that defy the laws of physics. And speaking of breaking the rules, this next seed definitely shouldn't be allowed. This ocean monument is sitting right on top of a stronghold where the Elder Guardian has safely secured all access to the end. Mining fatigue is probably not something you're prepared for when you get ready to take on the dragon, but you should prepare your eyes for the next seed, because it's the most beautiful cherry grove crater found so far. Emerge from the most claustrophobic ravine in Minecraft history to feast your eyes on this breathtaking Cherry Lake crater. By this large lake, entirely surrounded by steep, blossoming meadow walls, is where your 1.20 wishes will come true. It'll be an adventurous trail to get here, but it's a place where endless tales will unfold. The only limit will be your imagination. We're only halfway through. All biome seeds, village islands, and the rarest structure combinations are still yet to come. Sometimes the simplest things in Minecraft can be the hardest to find. Villages and oceans don't sound too rare, but put them together and you get something a lot of us Minecraft players dream of. A peaceful little fishing town surrounded by water. Loot the blacksmiths and then maybe come across some suspicious gravel. But to take advantage of all the new features in 1.20, you're gonna need a lot more. This seed contains all biomes within plus or minus 1,175 blocks from world center, including the brand new cherry grove right by spawn. You'll start your adventure right next to a large ocean, which has a coastline that conveniently leads you to every overworld biome in the game. All you have to do is follow the coastline to enjoy the incredible variety that Minecraft has to offer. There's even some mushroom fields in the middle of the ocean. It's the perfect survival seed for 1.20. 
Let's go from a variety of biomes to a variety of structures. This seed spawns you right next to a desert village with both a pillager outpost and a jungle temple. As well as these structures, you also have easy access to new animals and a brand new wood type. On one side of the village, you have a giant cave system to jump down into and explore. On the opposite side, you'll find another village just a short walk away with its very own desert temple. This spawn has so much to offer. At a first glance, this village doesn't look like it has much to offer, but it quickly exceeds expectations as you rise above the outpost to find it sitting tall on top of a woodland mansion. There's even some houses on top of the mansion too. I don't see myself getting a good night's sleep here. Climb back upon the meadow to find this crazy structure combo surrounded by winding rivers and dense forests of all kinds. It's a beautiful spot for such a chaotic cluster. But maybe you prefer your outpost and village inside of the mansion? This mansion has come along and sat directly on top of the village, leaving only a few surviving houses. Some are completely destroyed while others are fully intact inside of the mansion's basement. The pillagers also have their very own conference room and there's a ruined portal attached to the mansion too. If you prefer a fully intact village for the new update, check out this one inside of Minecraft's newest biome. The villagers farm their crops under showering petals. While enjoying views of the neighboring cherry tree crater, the village continues down the slope where you can find exposed caves behind the houses for your secret base. There's three hidden structures that make this village location even more special. The first is a spider dungeon just behind one of the houses, and directly under the village, you can find a mine shaft and a stronghold. We're on the final stretch. Still to come, we've got the craziest structure spawn ever, but first, here's another amazing all biome seed. If you're looking for a long-term survival world for the new update with a ton of variation, look no further than this multi biome seed. You'll spawn just across a lake from a blossoming mountain valley. This pink pathway leads you to every biome you'd ever need. Heading through the valley to the north will lead you to all the warm biomes, while heading south will lead you to all the cold ones. It's such a convenient position for Minecraft's newest biome. With a variation in biomes comes a variation in structures. There's so much to explore in this one. And speaking of exploring, I've explored thousands of Minecraft seeds, but I can't remember ever spawning on a Badlands Island. This one comes with an epic cliffside desert village with a crazy temple towering over the coral reef below. The insane location of this archaeology room combined with a desert village covered in snow makes this seed one in a million. What do you think these villagers did to deserve this? They'd probably dream of a more peaceful and beautiful village spawn, like the one you're about to see. This seed spawns you on a charmingly shaped double Crescent Island. What are the odds that the village would generate perfectly on the inner island? The village's paths provide some ready-made bridges to the outer island, while the only landmass in sight is that of some mushroom fields. This would be such a chill survival island experience for the new update. The final seed is far from chill, but it's certain to blow your mind. This is Minecraft's most insane structure spawn. There's a village, a woodland mansion, a pillager outpost, a shipwreck down by the waterfront, and an alley trap in a house. That's just what you can see above the surface. There's still so much more to uncover. Between the mansion and the village, you'll notice an opening. Drop down to find three houses deep down in the cave, just blocks above a layer of lush ceiling. Drop down even further into this incredibly spacious cavern to find the mansion's cobble pointing you directly to an exposed ancient city. It's not often you're able to look up from an ancient city and see the surface along with a mansion. This must be one of the rarest spawns in Minecraft. Craft. Let me know in the comments which seed was your favorite, and if you like that last seed, check out this next video which includes the top 25 best village seeds for Minecraft in 2023.